This is Mike here, and I'm going to be giving a little tip on the SC cutter. Um, sometimes during shipping, this carriage can come off. Um, there is a third wheel up here. There's one wheel, your left wheel, and then your right wheel. And you may be able to see that white wheel there. I'm sure you can. It's the right one. And then there's the left one, but the one that you won't see is up underneath this rail here. Uh, now, if you go to try to put your carriage back on, you're going to have to contend with two things. One is the wheel here, and the second thing is that there's a metal, a metal piece that sticks straight out and goes down at a right angle. I'll, I'll kind of show that to you in a minute. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. My GoPro is actually uh, charging. So what you can do is you can press this in first. Let's see if we can kind of get an idea here. You've got your wheel. Let's see if I can get it in. You can barely see it, but there is a wheel there. And that top track right here, that wheel goes under it first, and then the two wheels will sit on this track afterwards. So once you once you get that wheel in there, you kind of keep that top pressure there on the carriage, and then you can go ahead and put the left wheel and then the right right wheel in. Now even though you have your wheels in, that's on the track. And that's on the track now. So now that we move back and forth, you'll hear a little sound. That's because I bent the uh, metal up here just a little bit so I can get that wheel in. Because otherwise, I would need to, I would need to uh, take off this end cap here. And I would need to pop this screw off. Take off this end cap here. And pop this screw off so that this top portion can hinge over so I can take a look underneath this uh, top rail here, underneath the control panel, to put this back on. This is the easiest way to do it without doing that. But if you need to, you can take this off. There's only one screw here on the right. And then on the left there, same thing, one screw right here. As you can see, it's got a mount here and here. So I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and show you what we're looking at here. Okay. Let's see if we can see that. Get these controllers out of the way. There we go. So if you can see, this metal tang here, this metal piece actually comes all the way over here and it hits this trigger. This is the kill switch to stop it from going to the right. So once it gets home it knows. So now that little screeching sound is this metal hitting the, the top rail right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get under there. I'm just going to bend it down a little bit. You see I bent that down. You can see the reflection a little bit. Now that I bent it down, move it to the right, which will be right here. And you can see that it's making contact with this switch. So once it does that, we know that we have everything lined up. And you hear that? Even though we're turning the motor, everything is nice. It's smooth and we're not hitting anything except for that home switch. So now we're ready to go ahead and flip it back over. And let's see if I can plug this in. I'm doing this all with one hand. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on. But before I do that, let's go ahead and put it in the middle. Let's test this out. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Now, if that wasn't adjusted back there, what would happen is this would keep hitting and hitting and hitting and grinding. So let's see if we can create that. I think I can create that for you so you can have an idea. I'm going to lift this tab up here that I showed you before. I'm going to lift it up and away from the kill switch. It's not hitting the kill switch. So if some of you just get your cutter and turn it on and this happens... That is because 
the little tab in the back that's on this carriage. This guy is the carriage here. Let's flip it over again to pretend like we just received it because shipping is not always, you know, they don't always take it easy on packages. Okay. I'm trying to find my bearing here. Okay, so see this right here? This metal piece, that little 90 degree overhang. I'm going to go ahead and take it, push it down, and then check it by having it come back over here and it hits the switch. Okay, I hope I'm not getting you too dizzy there. Okay, now we're going to test it one more time. Perfect, that's exactly what we want. So I just wanted to show you, just in case your carriage is off track, or you get this cutter shipped to you, and it does get jostled around, which can happen fairly often, or maybe here and there. Uh, that's your solution, and it's not really a big fix. It's just a little, um, a little adjustment there for you. Okay. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave those below, and I'll try to answer them the best I can.